Now we have an even better shortcut. Boom, got it. Uh, it does feel a little weird upgrading dexterity instead of strength, but my weapon does scale with it, so it does directly benefit me, and at this point, more than even strength. There we go. And we are completely caught up. Look at that. That is gorgeous. And those are a lot of creepy things. Okay. Up we go. Oh cool, we're at a dome. I could apparently cross those, maybe. Well, here's something. Okay, a soul of a crestfallen knight. a little surprised I'm not seeing enemies. Oh, there, there's an enemy, actually. Just chilling. There's two of them? Oh god, alright. Let's just not... I would prefer that only one at a time has anything to do with me, because I'm pretty sure I saw three. Wasn't there a third? Whatever. That is not the damage I was hoping for. Oh my god. And then he glitched. Alright, that's one enemy I don't have to worry about with a stupid large titanite shard. Oh, here's the guy. He's just chilling over here. So there's his friend, uh, his friend to circle on, his friend to circle on. But I aggroed him, so this is good. I only have... What the? I only have one guy following me. Jeez. Okay. My goodness. Found out how to yes you have <laughs> how to go around small obstacles. Jeez, the power on this guy. What the hell? I I did not know that they could do that. Let's just, let's just get rid of this guy. Making me a little nervous there, buddy. Wink and Knight Twin Axes, are you kidding me? Paired beheading axes, wielded by the Winged Knights who swore themselves to the angels. These axes, more befitting of an executioner than a knight, are indented to fit the human body. Chain spin. So you know what that does, because he did it. And now the third one, which has a giant Slave, it appears. Yeah, no thanks. No thanks, I said. Let's just nip this in the bud, please. This guy's scary. T Wait, Titan Knight Slab! Was that a scripted drop, or can they just drop them? No, no that might have been a scripted thing. But damn... Okay, so anyway, let's look around now that nobody's patrolling anymore. Okay. I see a glowy. 
Anes de Shard. Absolutely beautiful. I wonder if that's the last one. I guess I'll have to find out later. Going up. Hunter's Ring. And look at this place. I still haven't gone to that very conspicuous path. But what is this Hunter's Ring? If I could find it. I have a lot of rings. Okay, increases dex. So, ring engraved with a portrait of a hunter. You'll notice it's not white. You know, white, white, white. So the hunter's cool, but he's not one of the three pillars. And actually looks kind of like a Bloodborne hunter. The hunters serve Lothric on the fringes and in the shadows. For generations, rulers of Lothric have relied especially upon the Black Hand Hunters to punish enemies in ways that the King's Three Pillars cannot. There we go, so they're like the, the wink wink, we'll keep you around to get our dirty work done, guys. Alright, let's go back down. That was a, a good find. Now here's a radical concept, what if I actually... went inside, although it's very tight. Actually, uh, huh. That architecture looked a little weird. I wonder if I go back downstairs. Yeah, this is more like it. And I can drop. Oh, this is how I get up here. What's with all the feathers? Divine Pillars of Light. Is that what the Winged Knight did when he tried fighting me? That's gotta be a miracle. Bring down multiple Pillars of Light in vicinity. Miracle of Gertrude, the Heavenly Daughter. The Queen's Holy Maiden Gertrude was visited by an angel who revealed this tale to her. Despite losing both her sight and her voice, she was determined to record the tale. Ordinary men cannot decipher her fragmentary scroll nor comprehend how it became the foundation of the angelic faith of Lothric. Oh boy, here we go. You heard the spells being cast. Where is it? There it is. Oh, that would have probably killed me, just straight up. Good, 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 good. That is incredibly hazardous. I'm not messing with that at all. Okay. Then there's this. I can't believe I'm all the way up here. A blessed gem. I think I've gotten one of those. Yeah, only one. I see. Oh, I can actually reach him. Okay.
precarious. Twinkling Titanite times three. You're damn right. Oh, Divine Blessing. That's pretty cool. Where am I in relation to everything else? I can hop out of here. Oh, hello. I could probably one-shot this guy now. Okay. Alright, you know what? We're not doing this. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. Well, I have 70,000 souls. Let's level up. Yeah, Dex still pays dividends. Let's do it. doing the demons and dark souls thing I can't believe this is what's in my way of the boss Actually, there's more than I thought. Okay. This this is more frustrating than I thought. This is actually quite annoying. Including a red eyes. Cool. Oh, that's, yeah, that's nifty. I like it. Like, really now? I guess if I really want to fight the boss, I can just run past these guys, but, like, give me a damn break. If the spear guys are going to be stupid, then I guess I'll let them. That was kind of scary. Oh. Chunk. Hey guys. Really? Really? Like these guys are, are giving me any kind of trouble. I'm not doing the, the boot. There we go. You're dead. Alright, where's Mr. Crossbow? That was annoying. There you are, sir. Okay. Oh, get the hell out. Come on. Just you? Sir? Just you? Sir? <laughs> Pick up the pace? Oh, this sucks. What an ass. Cool. Guess I'll die. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, this is really irritating. You know what? Let's just go this way. Oh, good. Somebody wants to run. That's a true knight. I have actually maxed my large titanite shards, which is insane. 
That'll sell for a halfway decent amount, I guess. Alright, night number three, I suppose. I sure hope I don't die on this boss on account of having to go through this crap again. That shield bash really is just brutal. That's alright. Alright. Very annoying. Are we done with the enemies? Looks like we are. Where does this take me? This is quite a trip. Luther Castle, where am I? I kind of recognize this area. Oh, okay, it's the Dragon Rider armor fight. So I'll have to make an obnoxious jog over here and then back up the elevator. That's kind of a pain in the ass, actually, but zero enemy encounters. So I guess I, I'm okay with this. However... We're doing another one of these. Look at that. We can go even deeper. We are really going all the way down. Where is this? A Titanite slab, baby. That was it. Bye. That, I believe, is the boss fight. The doors. So I want to get this right. It's Orbeck. Hey. What a bro. What a hero. Phantom Orvik of Vinheim. Welcome, kind sir. He's really coming through for me. What a guy. Let's do it. Alright, let's go. Come on in. Oh, he's actually in. I thought we'd have to wait until the boss fight activated. Unless this is the door for activating the boss fight. Okay. Let's go. Oh dear. Another dogged contender. Welcome, unkindled one. Purloiner of cinders. Mind you, the mantle of Lord interests me none. The fire-linking curse, the legacy of Lords, but then it all faded to nothing. You've done quite enough. Now have your rest. Oh dear. Lorian Elder. Okay, Lorian Elder Prince. Oh, I get it. The timing is very different.
That's how it works. What? Whoa, whoa. You leave Orbeck out of this, buddy. It's alright. Got him. That's a problem. My brother, I'm wielding the sword of Lothric's prince. Rise, if you would. Really? For that is our curse. Oh, don't even. This could be a problem. This could be a problem. Both HP. Where? He's already over there. I deserve that. It's tough because I'm supposed to kill Lorien, but Lothric is the one that is easily hit. I gotta see if that's how you do it. Well, this, this, is, this is good. That wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, frankly. But now I get how to do this, although he's really mad. Do not kill Orbeck! Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm, I'm in a lot of trouble, actually. It's alright. Tricky, tricky. What the hell is this? Okay. Okay. One more teleport, please. I want to actually hit you now. Go. Go. Yeah. Look at me, I'm learning. That's alright. Even with the homing soul mask, that's alright. I get the idea. I'm lower on Estus than I'd like. I don't know where he is. Okay. We're good. We're good. That's alright. Good. Are you don't even with this? That's okay. That's okay. I can salvage this. Yes. Ah. <sighs> Cinders of a lord, soul of the twin princes. That was a lot. Oof, my heartbeat was was increased. If the lords will not return to their thrones, let them return as cinders. The Lothric bloodline was obsessed with creating a worthy heir, and when this proved impossible, resorted to unspeakable means. Suffice it to say, the path to linking the fire is a cursed one indeed. The two princes rejected their duty to become Lords of Cinder, and settled down far, far away to watch the fire fade from a distance. A curse makes their souls nearly inseparable. No kidding! 
and Orbeck even came through. I can't believe I first tried that one. That was a tricky one. Oh, boy. Now... This is going to be good. First thing I'm going to do is level up. Let us quickly level. Freaking excellent. Let us turn in the Estus Shard. Be careful. Huh. No, there it is. Okay. That's every Estus Shard in the game. I'm actually going to go back to the Grand Archives now, believe it or not. And there's a good reason for this. Uh, I didn't want to go to Twin Princes. Why am I back at the Grand Archives? I thought we were done with this place. In fact, I have all of the Lords of Cinder. I can do the final boss now. Although you know we're not doing that yet. There's still DLC. But I have business to attend to here because now that I've taken care of that boss and I've done my summoning and everything, there should be a new item mysteriously available. Hopefully I can find it sooner rather than later. Got it. Orbex Ashes. He moved out, remember? He left the fire link. He came to the Grand Archives, I guess, to do even more research, but this is where he died. So, we will now go back. Now let's take a look at these ashes. Orbeck was fascinated with sorcery, but without means, so offered to serve as an assassin in exchange for acceptance into the Dragon Academy, believing that one day he could reinvent himself as a sorcerer. Boy, do I have something to do with this. But, in addition, I'm also going to take a quick step outside. It's been a while since I've had to just walk outside from here, so it takes me a second to remember how. I keep thinking, oh, this is inaccessible to me, but no, I gotta wait for loading or whatever. Maybe I should've just teleported to freaking Gunder's location. So I can walk my way up to Firelink. Anyway, we're outside. Now I am going to take a look somewhere among these tombstones. I don't know which, so let's do a quick once-over. You're out. Here we go. There are two things here because I neglected to come here the first time. Sunless Talisman, Sunset Shield. This is Hodrick's grave, and the Sunless Talisman was acquired from Cirrus, who is now dead. She went to her grandfather's grave one last time. Sunset Shield. Shield of the Holy Knights of the Sunless Realms. Engraved with a brilliant flame crest that burns brightly within the Order's customary sunset colors, this design symbolizes those who both harbor and oppose the power of flame. Pretty good lightning. Pretty good magic. But the Sunless Talisman, given to the Knights of the Sunless Realms who serve the Nameless Moon, scales with intelligence, which is rare for a miracle catalyst, but makes it compatible with dark, in the Sunless Realms, this fact is related first as an initial warning. And now for the big payoff. This is because Cirrus's quest is now over. By the way, that means I can now finally join that covenant with the Grub Woman. Finally, because Cirrus is no longer going to try to stop me. I've gotten all her items. But get a load of this. I have Orbex ashes, right? But there is no point at all in giving his ashes to the Shrine Maiden, because I can do that. But if I do, then she'll take his inventory. But I already bought out his entire inventory. So I have a better idea. Yuria told me to kill him. Well, I didn't kill him, but he is dead. 
So let's give her uh, a token of proof. Ah, our lord and rightful liege. Speak freely, thy lordship. Teleborbeck's death. Give the ashes. Ah, I see Orbeck's claim is proven false. As it should be our right and deserving lord of hollows. It is a Londor treasure befitting of a true lord. Lord of hollows, may the dark sigil guide thy way. Morion Blade. This is a real callback. I'll get into that in a second. Our lord and liege, I prithee with okay. the arm. There's nothing to buy. Well, rings of sacrifice, I guess. Be safe, I prithee rest. The Morian Blade is a Demon Souls callback. We've already seen a Demon Souls callback with the 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 Storm King Slayer or the Stormbringer or whatever that Sigvard used on Yorm the Giant, where in Demon Souls you can use something like that on the Storm King. You could always shoot him with arrows, but that sword will do the trick. The Morian Blade is what you could get if you take the Storm King's soul and forge it into a weapon. So now Dark Souls 3 is giving it to us. So what the hell is this thing? A twisted sword resembling the towers of Londor's sable church. Eight branching blades and thorns induce bleeding. The church's blessing makes the weapon revel in the agony of its owner. Heavy losses of HP boost attack. A curse most befitting its deformed appearance. Well, I can wield it. It's not that hard to wield, but it punishes you for wielding it, which is pretty amusing. With greatly improved attack. Now I can start putting some things away, but this is this is very nice. Actually, come to think of it, why don't I max my Irithyll Straight Sword? And I even have yet another slab if I want to upgrade a, a Great Bow, should that come up. What is your anti magic? 75, that's insane. 81, though, but terrible physical. This maintains the physical. Let's get rid of Sacred Bloom. So many absurdly. just an absurd assortment of shields. We have. Oh, another Lothric Knight Helm. I'll sell that. And Lothric Knight Armor. I'm sure we have that too. Yes, we do. Scholar's Robe, I'll drop that off. Deserter Trout, again. Alright. Let's just sell a couple of pieces of junk. Lothric. Lothric. Deserter. Beautiful. Very nice. Okay. That's a lot accomplished, but for now it is time to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We finished the Grand Archives. We beat the last Lord of Cinder, which means that now we technically can beat the game. We have all of the souls of Cinder, we can put them on all the thrones and encounter the final boss, but of course we're not going to do that just yet. There is the DLC to consider, but also I have some side quests to do, and... Even one boss I haven't fought. There's one particular dungeon where I left something alone, saying that it would be too difficult for me at that point. Well, that's what we're going to take care of. Until next time, everyone.